Hello everyone, today we are in Worcester, staying at the Swan Inn, nice little pub with en suite accommodation. So yeah, as you can see, we've got uh, <laughs> two smashed in windows, we are actually checked in already, we're in that room at the end there. We're right next to a river, got a nice little uh, area here where you can park. It looks like they used to have a garden at some point, so yeah. We're going to show you in the pub, probably a bit later when there's a few more people in there looking a bit lively. And then we'll uh, show you around the accommodation. Just want to check out this little bit of garden over here. Although it looks like a swamp, I don't think. We could just about walk on it. But yeah, it looks like they used to have a garden at some point. But uh, not anymore. Right, let's go check out the pub. I'll just show you this bit because it'll probably be dark later, but this is how you get into the actual rooms through this door here that they leave open, I hope, all the way through the night. They don't give us a key for it. But yeah, here's the two smashed in windows. <laughs> Again. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go get some food here because they don't, don't sell food here, so we're gonna go up the road. Then when we come back, we'll film the bar and the room. Happy hour. All right, this is the main entrance. Let's go and have a look. And this is the walk through from the pub, as where he was earlier, to our room. Karen's going to bed. Mm -hmm. Had far too many drinks, ain't you, Karen? Yeah, like many drinks. Just, can't, just can't get into our room though. The room is here, number three. These are the two with the broken windows, one and two. I think there's <laughs> only three rooms here. Okay, come on. Alright, let's go check out the room. So here we are inside the room of the Swan Inn in Barbourne, which is in Worcestershire. Wush Alright, so there's a little bit of a notice there if you want to read that. So as you come in, it's very dark in here. I think that light's meant to work, but I don't know how you do it. It's not coming on. Alright, we've got two, oh, wait, we've got a load of hangers, should I say? Not two. There's a little clock that don't work. And a fire extinguisher. And as you walk in, you're greeted by the bathroom door. We'll go into there in a bit. But this is the bedroom you get. So you come in, you've got your fire alarm on the wall there, two big mirrors, a wardrobe, and then you can be met by this lovely featured wall <laughs> with matching lampshade. A bed, which was all right. We're filming this in the morning. We've slept in here last night. We was gonna film last night. We had a few too many in the bar. <laughs> but yeah, as you come in, you've got this lovely little plant thing here that hangs down. You've got a radiator. Don't know if that works or not. Got Kaz's stuff all over the floor. <laughs> you got a triple wardrobe, which uh, looks quite nice, but it's actually quite hard to open. <laughs> so you've got hangers in there. That's just a single one. And you've got door handles are falling off. A double one in there, no hangers. But yeah, they've seen better days. Let's just close it up. Got a little air thing up there, which doesn't look like it's uh, got anything left in it. Got some blinds with a hole taken out of it. <laughs> These lovely curtains that don't actually close all the way. But yeah, other than that, <laughs> it's not bad. Got a nice little lampshade thing here, a little lamp. A couple of plugs there. A TV, which uh, again, has seen better days. <laughs> I do like this though, this, this feels nice. Probably the uh, wallpaper. Yeah. You've got like, you've got a coffee machine, or whatever it is, hot water dispenser, I think. Got tea and coffee things down there, one cup. One spoon and a little tray. This little bit down here to store stuff on. There is a hair dryer here. A remote control. And another little plant. And of course a double bed. And we'll tell you how much this comes to in a bit. But 
I was a bit worried about the bed because it looks like it's coming apart here. All right. So let's go check out the bathroom. And here we go for the bathroom. So open the door and you're greeted with a shower. Not the best of showers, it's quite weak. You've got a toilet and you've got a sink. Another big mirror there. So obviously this thing here, they ain't bothered to out, so they've just bought a hand gel. Got a couple of toilet rolls there. Mm, not the cleanest of places. There is a toilet brush in this one, which uh, you don't get very often. And yeah, here is the shower. So yeah, the ceiling has <laughs> seen better days. At least I don't think there's any mold here. It's just black. Just looks dirty and grimy. They've supplied us with some shower gel. There's a, someone used the conditioner thing left on the floor. I was taped when I was in here earlier. Uh, basically you get shower gel and shampoo there, but the shampoo is empty, the shower gel has got some in it, so I just literally just put that there rather than filling it back up. But yeah, the shower's all right. It's, uh, shower head's very clean. Looks like it's had a new shower head and a new pipe put on it. Or hose, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, got the vents in here. I've seen better days again. Someone's half painted the door. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. So you've got a few towels. This is the light switch. Yeah, it's not one of them ones where you have to call people for the old people. And you've got a bath mat there and a radio. So yeah, that is pretty much the room tour. Right, let's go back and I'll tell you how much we paid to stay here in this lovely place for a night. I just wanted to show this bit if Marcus is watching. Look at this great bit of uh, <laughs> wiring here, look. <laughs> Drill a hole in the wall and don't even prop it, plug it properly. Right, so yeah, that was the little room tour. So, not the best of places, but when you hear the price, you'll understand why. Yeah. Her phone's going off. Right, so what did you think of it? I thought it was, it was a little bit cheap and cheerful. <laughs> you only get what you pay for at the end of the day. <laughs> but you know, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. But it wasn't awful, don't get me wrong, it was actually okay. I mean, it's relatively clean. Um, there's a few like bits of paint missing on the wall and stuff like that. It could do with a lick of paint in here, maybe, and maybe uh, some new carpet. And the number one thing you don't have is a bin. Yeah, it doesn't have a bin, so I've got like a little bit of rubbish on the side. I just <laughs> have to leave here. I feel a bit bad. What can I do? No bin. So, yeah, yeah. When, when you walked in here last night, you wasn't happy, was you? Why? Well, you said, why have I booked, booked such a cheap place? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be really like a dump, but it ain't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. The bed was quite comfy in the end. The bed was quite soft, yeah. Quite a nice sleep. Yeah. So yeah, would you stay here again? I probably would, actually, yeah. Oh, there you go. The Swan it wasn't that bad at the all. The Swan Inn's got a, got a recommendation. Yeah. Although you'd stay in this room, not one of the ones with a broken window. No, I don't want to stay in a room with a broken <laughs> window. No, thanks. But anyway, yeah, it was like quite a nice night over here. I'll put a link down in the description so you can book it if you want to come here yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the part you want to all waiting for. Well, as you know, I have Genius Level 2, so I get a little bit of a discount. And I actually paid £40.06p for this room. Is that good? Yeah, that's really good. That's really yeah. cheap. <laughs> there you go. You can't really get hotels for that price anymore. You can't. You can't. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And uh, let us know if you come and stay here or if you stay there yourself. But as always, thank you all for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now.